y'all, this is Cindy. I'm the Tireless Tangler. I want to welcome you all back to the 100 Days of Zentangle Project 2021. Thank you so much for being with me today and each day in this project. Our tangle for today is called Lola. It is one of the few that we will do this year that is not on tangle patterns. It is by Sandy Hunter, CZT. And you can find the step out on her blog, and I will leave the link in the description below for you, okay? Just in case, I don't think you will need it, but just in case you do. Now, I thought this was on Tangle Patterns, or I would not have started this video uh, with this pattern in mind, but it's not. Every one of her other patterns is on there, but this one is not for some reason. So uh, I wanted to be able to direct you to the correct place for the step out. All right. Okay. So Lola is a lovely tangle. It looks like this. It's drawn very much like Mooka. Well, I didn't leave myself much room there. And you can do a lot of different things with it. You can change up the way you set up these little bumps. You can change their size depending on the look that you want, right? You can even do that that looks weird to me but you know I don't know I certainly don't know everything so this is Lola now why did I choose it well <laughs> for one thing it reminds me of Mooka you can mix Mooka with it and so it's you know it's never a bad plan plus there are a ton of embellishing things you can do. Now, uh, I really didn't want to call attention to this because it was just a, a practice tile where I was figuring things out. But one of the prettiest things you can do with this is stack it on top of each other for a border and mix some mooka in. Uh, you can add this little uh, front aura. I don't know if I have a good example. Let me give you one here. This little aura in front that even gives this a more interesting look and you can of course I'm trying to show shading and I shouldn't have started that but uh, you know you can aura the whole thing you can aura them all together once you get started now I had hoped to play with my pastel pencils here and that uh, I I did not have a lot of success. The only pencil, besides the white, of course, the only pencil I found out of these that would really work was this dark red here. And I think it just happens to have enough uh, color and vibrancy. But when you try to go over your jelly roll, you get something very extremely muted. So I thought, well, if I'm going to add color, and I'm not sure that I will, um, I need a colored pencil for that. And uh, this is a Prismacolor in cobalt blue. And I just, I didn't know if you guys were all aware that you can definitely put a uh, colored pencil on black background. And I tried my Polychromos in yellow and it's a little bit less opaque, a little, a little more uh, transparent than say my um, Prisma colors. And so you get a very see-through look, which uh, may be something you wanna try. Now, if you really want to cover your, your jelly roll and give it a color, then you want uh, to probably look at Prisma colors because you can do that. This is definitely doable, something like this. But I have found that the Prismacolors, because of the wa heavy wax that they have in them, work really well over black. You can also layer them. But if you're wanting to add some color, uh, you can also, of course, use your jelly rolls. If, if you have the Moonlight selection of jelly rolls, then uh, that's something 
uh, that would work on here for color. But I thought I would let you know that I did do some experimenting. What I need is a, is some lighter pastel pencils, I think, for this to be effective. Although I did use this light blue on here and was very disappointed in the, in the result that I got. You can't tell that it's blue really at all. So anyway, this is my practice tile. And I'm thinking about doing something like this through the middle of my tile. So let's figure out what's going to happen today. Now I know this looks off kilter. It's because my camera angle and my and the angle of my easel are a little bit different. All right. So I'm going to find my 08 in my jelly roll. And uh, I've got a white piece of paper back here, not only because um, not only because uh, it is a higher contrast, but it will also help me keep my jelly roll clean. Although you guys know me, I will probably be putting it on my fingers. All right. So I think I'm going to go on the diagonal and uh, start at the bottom and see what happens. Okay. Come on, little pen. And this is this is the this is the frustration of gel pens. There we go. One reason I start them on my hand all the time is because uh, that actually works usually. So boy, it does not like this. There we go. All right. So I'm going to treat that stalk just like I would if it was mucha. Okay. You can make these oval, you can make them round, you can do whatever you want to. So I think now I will take off from this line here. Wow, this one became something completely different. And that's okay. I don't mind having the funky ones. You guys know I will always give the funky a home. I embrace the weird and fun. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm gonna grow this up in this way and see what happens. And hope for the best. Okay. Drawing with jelly rolls is very much a different proposition than using an ink pen. And there is definitely a learning curve. I think I'm gonna turn this this way and draw from here and uh, see if that doesn't help me a little bit. Oh, that's a much nicer curve, I think. Keep your nib cleaned off. A bunch of ink will accumulate as you work, and you'll sometimes get a big blob if you don't keep it all wiped off nice. There, that's a little better. Um, okay.
Now I am choosing to make my top or my first bump the largest. But if you want to have a different look, you can certainly do that. I can't for the life of me figure out why this is an untangle patterns. I mean, it's it's Muka with a variation. But it is what it is. So I did not intentionally choose this uh, as one that is not on Tangle Patterns, and I do apologize for that, especially since I've been telling you guys I really need them to be on Tangle Patterns. Now, those of you who are pattern creators, if you want us to take one of your patterns out for a ride, I am happy to do that, too. Ooh, this one's kind of turning around. And now, I think... We'll try for some a small one up here and see what we get. That's a big stalk for a little Mooka, a little Lola. Fun. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit here. You don't need to see all that. <laughs> so I think I'm going to add a little bit of Mooka here and there. Just some small ones here and there. I think this goes beautifully with Mooka, as it should. Thank you for sharing your, your rod with us. <laughs> I might have a little bit of extra room for that. Um, let's see, right here maybe. Mm, I think that's good for now. Another thing I was playing with was that um, was that little aura line or echo line that you can put in front. And I'm still trying to decide if I want to do that or not. So I think in the meantime, I want to think if there's any other types of, um, I want to put some mooka down here. I'm going to have my own saying, it's when in doubt, decorate. All right. Okay, so this is fun. Um, 
Of course, it needs more. And I'm trying to think we could put zingers in there. That would definitely work. Um, how would we do that? Yeah, that might work. Feel like I'm doing a bridal bouquet. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess I've decided not to use the uh, little aura in front. But I have decided to aura the whole thing around. Now, if you have a spot, and jelly rolls are are weird like that, if you have a place where your jelly roll just doesn't want to go down anymore, um, let it dry, and then come back over it with, with uh, a jelly roll that is really working well, and that should do it, but make sure you let it dry first. Hmm. liking where this is going. I think we're going to have something nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to have room to put any more of these here. Let's see. Sorry, I've got a bad camera angle again. Jeez. It's so frustrating. <laughs> Pull towards me. Take your time with your jelly roll. It's one of those things that is going to flow better for you if you will go slower. Get in a hurry with a jelly roll and it will stop working. And some, some of them work better than others. So if you are struggling with yours, and that is a very common problem, uh, you can try the Uniball, sorry, you can try the Uniball Signos. Uh, they have an angel hair one that's uh, comparable to the 05, and I'm not sure what the, I think the regular one is just called the Uniball Signo. But it has a comparable, a comparable um, working as far as the smoothness and and the color and all of that i i find the jelly rolls a little a little bit brighter now this is a spot that i need to leave alone until i've got it dry so i'm gonna leave it alone <laughs> till i have it dry
I would normally do a lot more curving with my stems with my fescue, but um, uh, I kind of like it this way. I need some more over here. All right. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, so before I put my outer aura on, um, I'm gonna go through here and uh, think of some ways to embellish. You know me and the decorating. You've, you've heard all my secrets now, so. Um, so uh, we can, we can decorate um, these little gaps, these little ovals here. Um, I think I had some, let's see, I tried uh, lines through, I tried um, making little inner uh, auras and in inking, um, you know, I tried just putting color in them. Um, one thing that I really loved on this was I used my Prismacolor Gold, and this is a wonderful metallic pencil. It's one of the best gold pencils out there. It's nice and thick and it showed up. I don't know if you can tell in this um, light. It showed up beautifully on this black tile. So I may use some gold accents and get out my gold jelly roll and play around with that. Let me see if I can get a better light. There you go. See? So that looks really good. So I probably will play with my gold pencil and um, yeah. Let's see, turn this so you can actually see that there. Yeah, although you know, I could just use my gold jelly roll, something pretty. Yeah, that smooths on lovely. Let's try this this way. This would be great on a bookmark. This would be a great design for dingbats or something something on an envelope. This would look great on. I should give my fescues a little gold top. We got a windy day, so y'all probably hear my wind chimes today. Yeah, that looks good here, like this. Well, let's continue. I enjoyed decorating yesterday. I hope you guys did too. I know, embellishing, but for me, it's the same thing. I wish you guys could get the full effect, but as I move this, I think you'll start to see. You know, the gold, the metallic gold jelly rolls are awesome, as well as the silver. They have such good sparkle in them. And I will tell you that Sakura is the only uh, company that I'm aware of that use ground glass in their sparkly stuff uh, instead of glitter. And by doing that, um, they have opened a lot more sparkly light um, catching stuff in there. And so um, it's something to think about. I came on these back when I did adult coloring books and was trying to find better better glitter pens because the glitter pens out there suck. And so I ran onto their, um, it's not, uh, it's called Stardust or Galaxy or something like that. And uh, they are gorgeous, gorgeous um, glitter pens. 
Now the metallic gold isn't quite the same, of course it's metallic, but um, they use the same uh, glass in those too and for the sparkle. And so I just love them. There is just nothing that shines like these, I don't think. Now some of you may have some suggestions for other kinds that we can try, and I am always down for that. But uh, you can believe me when I tell you I've tried almost every uh, cheap uh, set of glitter pens on the market. <laughs> they may have some new cheap versions, but um, I, it was just worth it to pay a little bit more and get, and get something such high quality. Oh, well, I forgot one side, but this is looking good. Yeah, yeah, okay. Can't wait to get in here with my colored pencil, too. Uh, I just had a thought about something. You know, that's a dangerous thing. I'm wondering if maybe I should draw my art, outer aura in gold instead of white. Let me think about that while I decorate. I know you're laughing, Lorianne. Stop that. Stop laughing at Cindy. Eh, you might as well join in. Roseanne's already cackling over there. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Roseanne. I feel like I tangle with you guys every day. I wonder why that is. Oh, wait, I do. But I need some snarky comebacks coming back my way. Zing, zing, zing. There's some of us in this group that I have a feeling that, that we should have coffee sometime because uh, we'd have way too much fun. Maybe we should do that. You know, that would be a fun idea for a live stream is just to bring our drinks and, you know, not drinks, but um, bring our cups of coffee and tea and water and whatever we've got and just sit down together and chat and have some fun. We could definitely do that. So, okay, here's where I'm at. Let me get the shine going for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so um, I'm still wondering about this outer aura. I'm gonna start it in gold, and if I don't like it, I can go over it in white. Uh, and since the jelly roll that I'm using, the metallic gold jelly roll is a 08 size, uh, I can use my white 10 my white Jelly Roll 10 to go over that if that's what I decide to do, if it's just not popping out enough. So uh, let's, let's start that and see where we end up. Thank you, by the way, Polly, for, for those jelly rolls uh, in different sizes. That was the perfect thing. No, you can't see again. Damn it. I better not have to do this video over. comfortable hand position and the camera position are not always the same. I get lost in the process of drawing and forget what I'm doing with my hands. When I draw from this angle, then I can't always see where my hand is going or where my pen stroke will go. And so it's less effective for me uh, than others, but I can make it work. Let's slow down a little bit, girl. You too, all of y'all girls too, and guys, slow down. I saw Kim Elliott got a, got a set of uh, 24 
Ink Tens pencils. Go, go, have fun. You're going to love it. Going to love them. I think uh, the smaller sets have both of my favorites in there, which is the Sienna Gold and the Sherbert Lemon. And so uh, those are both excellent, excellent pencils and so bright and vibrant. You're going to have fun playing with them. Yeah, yeah, this is looking good. I like it. I may do some inner artist to sort of perk up the, the inner internal sections. I don't know if I want to start that, though. So we'll leave that one there. I'm not sure this pen is a small enough nib to work in uh, very small spaces. And if I do it, I want to do more than, you know, two. But like here where I have extra room, that would be a good spot for it. These metallic pens go on so smooth. They are lovely to draw with. You just have to watch that little bit of extra ink you get sometimes. Now, this is another thing that spray-on fixative is good for. Jelly Roll will wipe off with your fingers or your hand or whatever you've got rubbing across it. So you want to be careful to touch it on the surface as little as possible. And so the spray-on fixative is really good for protecting uh, the vibrancy and the, and the sparkle of jelly, gel pens. And you can still add more if you want. This will be our last quiet video before my kiddo comes home. Oh wait, he goes to school tomorrow. Oh, score. So with any luck, as long as he stays healthy, we'll have two days, two more days. I should have put some fescue out here, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, I think I will add an extra one in here. Hopefully you can see that. And here. And where else? This one. And maybe one more right here. Now I can fill those, ink them in, but uh, for now, uh, let me sneak in a few more here. Just little small ones like this. And one more up here. All right. There we go. Maybe. And there, that way it won't be left out. <laughs> Ooh, this is pretty. All right. It's awesome. Okay, so I think my last step, well, probably not the last one. 
I want to get my my 08 out again in Jelly Roll and White. And I'm going to do some further embellishing. I know you're shocked by that, but I am. I'm going to embellish some more. And uh, one of the things I want to do, I think, is to put some dots right along my top hump there. I'm just going to put three or four, maybe. And go slow so I get nice round dots. I think that's going to perk up the interest uh, visually. Yeah, I like it. As always, you do what you want. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't that help? I think so too. Make them nice and round. Slow down so that you can do that. Try to lift straight off when you work with your jelly, jelly roll. That way you don't get any of those stray hurry marks. I'll put an extra one on this. It just needed something more. <laughs> and last one. Oops, hurry mark. There we go. Now I think one more thing I want to try is zoom out on this a little bit more. I think I want to do a second outer aura, but I want to use uh, what I've been doing lately, which is like dots and dashes or, or just simple dots. I think that would uh, really bring this up vibrancy wise. And I also, uh, I'll do that second. So I'm going to do the dots first. Dots with jelly rolls are very nice things. Take your time though. Make each one a nice, round, careful dot. And that will sort of tie in the dotted elements on the inside. You just cannot get in a hurry with this. This is the same with inking these. Take your time. The more in a rush you are, the le whoops, sorry. The more in a rush you are, the less neat they will look. Well, where is a camera angle that I can actually use without getting my hand in the way? But not that one. <laughs> ah, I know, it's been one of those weeks. You guys keep me sane. Coming here every day keeps me sane. Keeps me focused on something positive. So I am very grateful today to have each and every one of you that watches this video, watch this video. Thank you. It makes me feel like what I'm doing is more, is worthwhile. And I get enough notes from you guys to know that both email and in comments that, that it positively affects a lot of your lives. And that is meaningful to me in so many ways. When I first started tangling, I was desperate um, for community and information and um, someone positive to watch and... Um, Making these videos is my way of giving back to the Zentangle method uh, for the beautiful things that is given to me. Freedom from depression is the hugest one. 
And that doesn't mean that I'm never depressed, but it does mean that I'm handling my depression in a very positive way now. And that is wonderful. That is such a balm. Um, it's been years um, since I was deeply clinically depressed. And uh, that is an ugly place for me. It's a scary place. Those of you who deal with depression, I know I've got more than one of you. Uh, you understand what I'm saying. You can go to some ugly places in your head. And having something to do that is creative is, is a way of uh, reaching your hand out and grabbing onto something, a uh, lifeline. And while it may sound stupid that a drawing method can actually help with depression, it is absolutely the truth for me and many, many others. Uh, I think I mentioned last year that they did uh, and have another study ongoing right now uh, on medical students using the Zentangle method as a, a stress reliever as opposed to being in therapy. And uh, they had extremely positive results and showed that um, the students' blood pressure improved, their overall attitude, their productivity improved, all from uh, taking, you know, 20, 30 minutes a day, or in our case, an hour to an hour and a half. <laughs> and drawing is so positive for your mental health. It's great. So doing this is a great thing, and you're not imagining that it helps you. It does help. I am living proof that it helps. And so making these videos is my way of sharing back the joy of drawing that I found in Zentangle. And you know, I was one of those people. I could never draw. I, I thought, oh, I have this creativity in me and I want to draw. The desire was there, but I never could draw anything because I was trying to draw stuff. And I think my perfectionism got in the way of me relaxing and enjoying the process. And so when I discovered this method, it was like all of the barriers and blocks that I had in life uh, for drawing just were removed by these simple steps that we take every day, by uh, learning to appreciate and be grateful and uh, slowing down, breathing, taking your time, focus, and trusting the patterns to work. That was a big one for me. I didn't trust them for a long time. I only trusted myself, and we all know that's a slippery slope, right? <laughs> I am loving how this turned out. Look how gorgeous this is. Now I have one more thing to do once I finish my dots. Actually two more things. All right, yeah. What do you think? The white dots outside the, the gold um, aura is very cool. So uh, I have a couple more things I wanna do. Number one, I wanna take my gold Prismacolor, if I can put my hand back on it, since it just visited me a minute ago. Here it is. All right. I had actually thought, I had actually brought out a, um, a green pencil to do these, but I don't want green, I want gold. This is working for me. So I'm gonna take my gold Prismacolor and I'm gonna do some shading with it. And I'm just gonna put it down on these stalks towards the bottom so that the places where the lines are coming together have just a little bit of color, a little bit of sheen. And yes, uh, I could use a graphite pencil for this, but I don't want to dull down uh, my creation, so I'm going to use this gold pencil, which is fairly dark, but still goes with my theme. <laughs> and uh, yeah, all right. 
it will also help to obscure some of these messy lines here. But I have another tip for you on that if you would like to stay around and hear it. Simba and River say hey to their puppy and kitty pals. How is Wilson today, Argo? And Amigo? And, oh, what are the girls? Um, ah, I want to say one is Petra, but I could be wrong about that. All of a sudden, all those really stark white lines that were kind of bugging me, all gone. Because it's gold now, oh my gosh. I really need to sharpen this pencil. But I'm kind of hesitating because it's gold. And yeah, all right. So on the Mooka, what I'm considering... is um, I, I can bring my white charcoal as we usually do with Mooka and and shade shade on the head the way I usually do. And um, that would work for sure. Uh, but I could also probably do that with my gold pencil. So I'm not sure how that would look. You can also, by the way, if you don't have all that um, stuff, you can use your white Prismacolor if you don't have charcoal. Uh, that will work for the shading too. So let's just, uh, give me a second. Make sure I've got all these uh, white areas kind of dulled down. So that's not where your focus is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I got most of it. All right, let me sharpen this real quick and we're gonna try that out. Yeah, that work. Okay, so let's try one. Let's try this one right here and I'm just gonna do my little oval shape thing. And I could always, I'm not even sure you can see that, like that. And then I can always bring my white charcoal in. Where is my white charcoal? There it is. Over the top of that. And I can blend that with solution if I want to. But I'm not sure. Oh, that might work. Now that I look at it, in the camera, that might actually work. Uh, in person, I'm not sure. Or I can go through and use this as the oval thing. Where's my tortillon? Let's shade this, or let's blend this out and see what it looks like, and then we'll make that decision. At least I will. I don't know what y'all are doing probably laughing at me. Stop laughing. No, actually don't. If I give you a giggle, just go with it. Chuckle, laugh, guffaw, whatever makes you happy. If I can make you smile, that's a good thing. All right, let's go down here. And I do want this to be fairly subtle. I actually think that works better with gold. So let's go ahead with that and see what we end up with. It'll be an adventure, as always. Can't even see. All right. All right. 
And you don't always need a lot. Sometimes a, just a hint of it will do. That's a lovely pencil I've got there. I do like my Prismas. I don't know if I will ever want to, unless I try those Caranda Ash ones from Switzerland. I am dying to try those because I have heard they are amazing and highly pigmented and buttery soft and all those things you want in your colored pencils. I'm not sure what the binding agent is in those yet. So I'll have to do some research. Jenna Black and uh, Annie Oaken both say that those are pretty awesome. So those are very smart ladies, so I'm probably going to listen to them. All right. Let me dab in just a little bit of highlight on the tops of these. These two down here are a little confused, but that's all right. We'll, we'll fix them up. All right, let's shade this or blend it and see where we end up. So we have done this whole thing with gold and white which is a great combo on the black, particularly. And as always, if you do not have the materials I'm using, it doesn't matter. Use black pen and white paper and don't worry about anything else. You know, maybe at some point you can source some stuff like that to help you out, but I started with black pen and white paper, just like everybody else. So, um, you know, take your time. It takes time to build up art supplies. Okay, wow. This is pretty awesome, I think. Um, you know, there may be some finishing up, and I may take a tortillon dipped in uh, mineral solution and blend some of these out just a little bit, but quite frankly, I think this looks amazing. I think this is going to be awesome, and uh, I hope you guys have had fun with it. I definitely have had fun. So uh, I have enjoyed the last hour decorating and having fun with you guys. I hope you had fun too, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for day, I don't know anymore, maybe 37, maybe 38. I think it's 38. All right, guys, thanks for being with me today, and I'm going to see you tomorrow.